Grady Trimble is live from Ottawa right now with more in the story. What is the charge, Grady? Good morning, Maria. Uh, we see there are charges relating to uh, planning mischief is what one of the charges is, along with a few others. Uh, they sound like they could be minor, but apparently the law here in Canada, that actually carries quite a lot of weight with jail time included. And you can see here the truckers are digging out after several inches of snow last night, but in terms of their resolve, they are digging in. We've talked to a lot of people who tell us, despite the several days of warnings from police, they are staying put. Police say they have a secure area all around the convoy here on Parliament Hill where there are checkpoints. Only people who are going to work or going home or going to school will be allowed in. On top of that, you mentioned the two arrests of those in, in charge or, or leaders, organizers of this convoy. Uh, that was last night, but there are still a lot of trucks here, and you can tell by the hum of them this morning that there are still people inside of them. Police are warning people, though, the window is closing to get out. Listen. We are prepared to employ lawful techniques to remove the unlawful protesters from our streets. We've been bolstering our resources, developing clear plans, and preparing to take action. The action is in imminent. And here is the fence that police and crews put up yesterday in front of the parliament building. You can see on the other side of the fence there are cruisers there with officers inside of them. Unclear exactly what the tactic will be from police, uh, but they say that they are prepared to make arrests. The deputy prime minister says bank accounts, personal and company accounts, have already been frozen. Uh, so we will see, Maria, if day 22 of this convoy is the last. Well, they don't want any pushback from their rules, Grady. That's it. They will uh, lay their law down, I guess. Thank you so much, Grady Trimble, in a uh, snowy Ottawa this morning.